Hi everyone, I'm here just to show you a quick little trick you can do with your mullers. Um, if you ever find yourself uh, working with a muller and think, okay, this is kind of, it's not enough grip or uh, it's my hands are getting sweaty when I'm mulling or anything, anything like that. For instance, I don't like the grip on this thing. Um, you know, it's, it's too narrow here. Uh, this one works for me, but I'm feeling it's like it's, it's missing something. You can fix this, okay? Let me show you. The only thing you need is, uh, in my case, I use uh, a transparent plasti dip. It's a kind of rubber coating they use in the car industry, I think, a lot. It's quite smelly, so I suggest wear a mask. Um, what you can do with your muller, make sure this is clean. Well, I just kind of degreased uh, the surface before the video. What you can do is just dip it like this, maybe swirl it around a bit. And what you're left with is a rubber coating that just, you know, gives you more grip. Uh, it, 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 well, it, it improves the texture. It might look a bit weird. <laughs> I know. Uh, and if there's any like uh, edges here that have been spilled, uh, don't worry, you can peel it off again as well. So this is still very liquid. It'll dry in about an hour, maybe more. Um, if you don't want it to drip like over your muller, what you can do is take a glass jar, make sure that tip doesn't hit the bottom. You can just let it drip out like this and let it dry. So I'm quickly going to cover this up so there's not more of this smell than we actually need. I'm going to let this harden and I'll come back to you with the result. So I quickly made some more examples so I can show you what it looks like when you peel it off um, uh, but also you know that it works for all different sizes. Um, in the meantime I'm just going to uh, tell you how I came to this idea. Um, I was actually fixing a bike last weekend and um, all the tools that I was using, um, they all had like the, the rubber handle on it. And it's like actually, it's on the label of, of, of this plasti, plasti dip can, it says that as well. Um, uh, you can use it for that re kind of uh, surfacing um, that grip part of a tool. Um, I've not, I, I'm not sponsored at all. This is a very old can that I had uh, for a project I, I worked on, I think, 10 years ago. So it's it's quite old, uh, but it still works perfectly. Um, uh, I just had this laying around and I thought, you know, we, I can do this with uh, silicone, like a natural silicone rubber. Uh, you can buy in, in, I think, liter jars. Uh, but I had this laying around, It you know, it's, it's colorless and it really adds a very nice, nice feel to it. So, um, yeah, I was working with the tools and I thought, you know, I have a lot of tools. They don't look like that, but why not try it? So it's the next day and they are dry. Uh, as you can see, it has a little rubber handle on the top. It adds grip and uh, it actually feels quite comfortable, especially with the colder months coming um, uh, this little rubber kind of layer on it uh, makes the muller less cold as well. So if you were in a very uh, cold environment or in a very cold room uh, during the winter, um, you you know, it might be too cold on your hands. I've had that once um, where I was mulling for a long time uh, with pauses in between uh, and the mullers got cold every time I started again. Uh, and it actually, you know, kind of fatigues your hand so it's it's more comfortable uh, to hold but also more comfortable uh, temperature wise one thing uh, that you need to be careful of if you use this a lot this is a very thin layer uh, and you can actually peel it off so if you 
don't secure it. It might come off after a while and you can, you know, you can do it again. Uh, if you want to avoid that, uh, you might want to think about adding a little piece of electricity tape or some kind of uh, rubber flexible tape that also sticks well to, to this rubber um, around it to hold it in place. Uh, otherwise, what happens, I can show you how easily it peels off. And this will look rather weird. And I'm very, very, very aware of that. But you're left, <laughs> you're left with this when you peel it off. So it, it, it peels off beautifully. Uh, you have a clean glass uh, 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 muller after it. So uh, uh, don't worry about any residue, but it peels off quite easily. So um, I hope you like this trick. Uh, this is just a little trick to uh, add some more comfort, uh, you know, during your, your mulling time. Um, if you have any questions or any ideas, leave them down in the comments down below this video. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Follow my channel if you don't already. Uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, turn on notifications. Hopefully, after this video. <laughs> See you next time.